It's Stats Day! Hey everyone, it's Danielle Taylor with Keller Williams Realty here on the beautiful Outer Banks. And you know what day it is. It is my favorite day of the month. It is Stats Day. So um, just a reminder that all of this information is courtesy of the Outer Banks Association of Realtors, and this data is through August 31st, 2024. Just one other reminder, when we're tracking this data, we're doing it, the areas that we're looking at are all of Dare County, including um, also Corolla, all of Corolla, including four wheel drive. Um, and it's for single family residential. So that's our baseline that we're looking at now. So let's dive in. First metric, median residential sales price. We've been watching this all year. It's defying logic, continues to defy logic. Um, year to date, we're sitting at about 719,000 as our median residential sale price, which is up about 9.8% from 2023. Okay, so it's still up. Um, interestingly though, the median um, list price, remember we don't know sold yet, list price for under contract property sits about 762, so 762 versus the 719 for sold and our actives is at 820, okay? So still that disconnect there a little bit for those actives and, and sold. So we'll watch how that goes. Um, the median sold to list ratio, so the sold price divided by the list price is about 97%. And I just wanna make a note, and I'll probably do a video about this later, but you really have to look at how much this varies depending on how long the property's been on market because the days on market really makes a big difference. And so if we look at properties that have been sitting on the market for 90 days plus, we're looking at getting approximately 91% of their original asking price, okay? So that's just something to think about. Um, and then of those people that have purchased that real estate, about 29% uh, paid cash. So that's pretty standard. We've, we've been seeing that all year. There's nothing new there. So price reductions year to date, about just under 36% of the sold properties have done a price reduction before doing so, okay, before selling. Um, and that's actually down slightly from almost 37% um, year to date in July. So that'll be an interesting met metric to watch. Um, the average price reduction that we're seeing remains right around 7%. Okay, so when we finally get there, that's from the original to the final resting price of asking that caused it to go under contract, okay? Um, when a price reduction has been done, typically what we're seeing is they're selling at an average of about 88% of the original and 95% of their asking versus that 97% of asking that we talked about earlier when they didn't do a price reduction, okay? So when we miss it off the mark, we end up chasing the market down. And I'm really seeing, I've got to stress this to my sellers, I'm really seeing buyer clients being price sensitive. Um, and it, it's just, a shift in mentality. So you really have to nail that price point. If you don't, you have to be open to talking about where we go from here. So I just, that's my, that's my soapbox uh, information from today. Um, anyway, 47% of the active properties that are on the market today um, have already done a price reduction. That's down a little bit from 48% last month, but almost half of them have done a price reduction if they're still sitting there, okay? Um, let's talk about multiple offers. So are we still seeing competition? Overall, about 17% of the properties that sold indicated that they were in a multiple offer situation. This is not a required field, just a reminder. So some people may have been in multiple offers and not disclosed it but overall 17% of the solds have, have been in multiples versus 25% year to date in 2023. So less multiples, but not zero, okay? And just the thing that I keep reminding everybody is just because you did a price reduction doesn't mean it's even going to go lower in the uh, final sale price because 12% of the properties that sold that had to do a price reduction before they found their buyer, 12% of those ended up getting into multiple offers eventually and the market dictated where the property sold at. So don't forget that when you nail the price, you're really gonna um, create the activity that you need to get the best possible price that the market can bear. 
Um, closing cost concessions. So um, we're still continuing to see almost half of the closings doing a concession, some sort of concession. Um, days on market. So how long are things taking to sell? So year to date, the average days on market for our sold sits about 53. That's been pretty consistent. It was about 50 last year to date. Um, so about 6% slower, but still in that same range. For our under contracts, their average days on market is 60. And that's up substantially. At um, the end of July, we were sitting at 48. Um, so it's Definitely, we're seeing that translation now in things taking longer to sell. So when those under contracts go ahead and close, we're going to see that days on market continue to um, track up. Okay. Um, finally, for our active properties, those poor guys, we're sitting at an average of about 93 days on market. So, um, you know, when you miss the mark and you're sitting there, it's just taking more time. So that's where we're sitting um, as of the end of August. So next stats day will be super exciting. We'll be ending Q3. So we'll go over all of that. Um, but overall, I don't think any major changes from what we've been seeing throughout the year. Um, and inventory starting to go up. Prices are still holding. Things taking longer to sell. More price reductions. I mean, that's the whole thing. Anyway, don't forget to subscribe. And um, reach out if you have any specific questions. We'd love to hear from you. Hope you have a great day.